Dr. Clay Marsh, Rob Alsop, as COVID-19 vaccination opportunities expand, a lot of people have a lot of questions. Who's being prioritized and, and why? And, and focus in particularly on age and, and residency, if you would. The governor has given us very explicit instructions of our priorities, and that is to save lives improve well-being, maintain the capacity of our vital assets and healthcare and our community functions. And so we have, uh, as the Centers for Disease Control recommended, have prioritized in our first group, healthcare workers, residents of long-term care facilities, and people who are over 65. This is a, another CDC recommendation. So by really targeting these populations, uh, we are going to save lives. We're going to reduce the strain on hospitals, and it will allow us to continue to move forward and vaccinate the rest of West Virginia in a prioritized way, but also do it so that we are protecting the, the, the health of the people in our state. The State Department of Health and Human Resources launched a website for West Virginia residents so they can pre-register. Visit vaccinate.wv.gov for information or call 833-734-0965. Rob, I'm curious, WVU started a vaccination program in conjunction with the Higher Education Policy Commission in the state. Explain how that fits into this process at this point and what that's gonna look like moving forward. So the governor and the Joint Interagency Task Force decided that as part of the initial rollout of vaccination, that education would be a focal point. And so as part of phase 1D, the Higher Education Policy Commission has received a thousand doses of vaccine a week for higher education employees. And consistent with what Dr. Marsh indicated, with really a focal point on those 50 and over and to really start by prioritizing those um, 65 and over. We have also started to receive an allotment from the Policy Commission for our health science students who are in clinical rotations that will help them because they're in the clinical rotations, but also because they may be vaccinators or asked to help staff our large scale sites. Moving forward, what we think will happen is as these community sites get more and more vaccines over time, those shots will become available there as opposed to the university continuing to get a continued allotment going forward. If you filled out the survey, we're working to get those doses. But I also think, um, to Dr. Marsh's point, if you have the ability to register with the state or the local health department or WVU Medicine, that's a good idea to do. And then we'll sort it out on the back end from, an, from, an, from a WVU perspective. But if you've gotten it somewhere else, we just won't duplicate it here. Be sure to visit the Return to Campus website for more information and to view FAQ. You can contact covidvaccine at mail.wvu.edu for additional questions. And be sure to stay tuned for more updates via U News for our students and E News for our faculty and staff.